Hey, Max Scott from Hey Guys. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Congratulations on the film. Thanks for coming out to Thank our you. premiere. Thank you. It's great to be back on a red carpet, I have to say. I mean, I would say it's great to be back on a red carpet, but this is like my first time doing this at um, a premiere, so here we are. How is your experience so far? Um, yeah, good. I'm a bit, a bit nervous. A bit overwhelmed, but if I wasn't, I wouldn't be human, I don't think so. Has it been a long time coming, given yeah. you had been delayed and stuff like that? Has, that? has that made it a more powerful experience for you, given that you're here now? I think I've, I've managed to sit in it longer, and I've, I've managed to... Um, um, not analyze it but like uh, appreciate it more it, it hasn't been a whirlwind it's been steady and it's been I've been grateful for it every step of the way you know um, a pandemic can teach you a lot about yourself and about your craft and you know this film needed to come out now when communities and when lots of people can go and see it so this is the right time for this film absolutely and obviously you come into this you're the new the new jamie but yeah, yeah. the key creatives behind the scenes are all pretty much the same yeah, yeah. how important was that for you to come into a world where everybody knew what they were doing and really wanted to bring the story to the screen in the same well, way they had on the theater well it, it truly it wasn't important to me because i i i i um obviously didn't know them personally but like what the reflective point of that is that it was essential that these creatives made this because they are at the heart of this piece and actually it enabled me to do my job really effectively in that, that I never felt like I had to recreate anything that had already been done. I was completely guided by what they wanted and um, this wouldn't have happened without um, Johnny, Dan and Tom and they're a truly amazing creative team and I'm so blessed to work with them. Yeah, And obviously on Friday, uh, your, your fellow filmmakers were saying all eyes will be on this film, it goes worldwide. How yeah. important is that, that not just that the film goes worldwide, but that the message goes worldwide? Yeah. There's countries where they might not even heard of this film and it might bring something out in them that's really important. 110%, it's a family film, it's universal, it's for everyone. It may have a queer uh, person in the center of it, but we all have a version of a dress. And just because your version isn't a dress, it doesn't mean you can't open your mind and heart to someone that is, whoever they are. Um, and I think that having a queer, a feminine character in the central role, a film that has so much, like such a universal message to it of being who you want to be and like not waiting for permission to be you and trying to find your most authentic place, I think that's going to really help loads of people. And just finally, I mean, there's so many amazing set pieces and songs in this. Did you have a, what's your favourite? Did you have one that really kind of struck a chord with you? I love the shot, the, Richard's shot um, as a set was just full and gorgeous it was really i mean incredible like it felt like i was stepping into like like a toy shop it was like as, as a kid you like looking around there's so much detail in it that was a really fun set but there's i mean they're also beautiful the runway which reminded me of drag race yes. um and i was like living my best life doing that so yeah i wish you all the best with it thank good luck so thank you so much for your time thank you. thank you have a good one thank you. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!